This is literally the most ghetto rig setup I've had in a really long time. All right, what's up you guys? It's Liv. Welcome back to my channel. Um, so today I am in a different setup as you guys can see. Um, I don't think I mentioned it on my YouTube, but I was moving out of my apartment and I know everyone was like, oh my God, Liv, like why'd you move out of your apartment? And they think that there's some like tea behind it. There's not. Literally just like my lease was up and as I've been telling you guys, I really want to get out of Maryland. Um, so I've been trying to look for jobs and places outside of Maryland and I didn't want to start another lease and then end up having to move and then have to break my lease because at that place like when you break your lease you end up having to pay like a couple thousand dollars in order to break it and I was like mm, your girl doesn't have like a couple thousand dollars laying around just to like spend on lease breaking you know um, and then also I just like didn't know if maybe I would want to stay in Maryland a little bit longer I just don't really know what I'm doing <laughs> My parents were really cool and they were like, just let your lease end and move back home for a few weeks while you figure out what you're doing. So that's where I am. I'm back at my parents' house for a few weeks just while I'm getting situated. So yeah, I'm back in my corner that I used to be in when I first started filming YouTube videos and this feels so weird. Like I feel like a different person. But literally everything is so messy and all over the place and I feel crazy because <laughs> I don't want to fully unpack because like what if I end up moving in the next I don't know because I'm kind of waiting I have a potential job and I'm just like what if they end up like saying yeah move now anyway I just want to have my stuff ready to go anyway that has nothing to do with today's video I just whatever I wanted to say that because I know that the setup is a little different and it's a little crazy right now like I feel like this camera is about to fall because I'm in such a tiny corner and I wanted to get this set up and I wanted to get the light set up and I feel like this is the sketchiest setup I've had in a really long time because at my apartment I used to have like a whole kind of filming area so I would have definitely enough room for filming and right now I feel very cramped and very messy and a little all over the place but let's do it. So today we're going to be reviewing the Juvia's Place Foundation. This foundation has had so much controversy around it. Um, I don't want to give like my full thoughts yet because I have mixed emotions. Like initially, I was really happy that the brand. Um, am I gonna get into this? Mm, am I gonna do this? I'm gonna do it. So I don't know the full story on everything. I'm just going based off of what I've seen like tweets and um, other influencers have said. So I don't know the full story. I don't know anything. This is just my opinion based on other things I've seen. That's my opinion! So don't come for me. I don't know the full story. I was initially like really happy that there was a um, line that launched such a really amazing range um when i saw the range of the foundations i was like wow they look really beautiful i just love the idea behind it like it seemed very like women of color friendly and i'm super pro that especially someone who has been working in makeup for about four years now i feel like i can honestly say there's not a lot of foundations that cater to women of color um but also have shades for people with fairer complexions and I think that's really cool that they came out with something like that that really appeals to everyone and I've always been a fan of Juvia's Place I've never purchased anything from them but I do know that they are a um, black owned business so I've always just been super supportive of them I haven't known much about the owner but you know whenever I've been in store and people have been interested in it I've just been super pro because their products look great when I've seen people swatch them it looks great um, you know I just I'm here for it but I did see a couple of influencers um, that I really like, particularly Alyssa Ashley. Um, I really value her opinion. I really like her and I feel like she's super genuine. It's really hard to find genuine influencers nowadays. She spoke up about this launch and kind of said that, I don't want to misconstrue her words and I don't know what she said word for word, but she kind of said that the owner stop sending a lot of women of color PR but then out of nowhere started sending them PR when she launched the foundation and it just seemed almost like a marketing tactic if you get what I'm saying and 
that just left like a really bad taste in my mouth so I'm just not I'm not about that and that's so strange to me that she would do that being a woman of color herself so I don't really know what that's about but I don't like that because um, I feel like if you're gonna have an inclusive brand be inclusive all the time you know with all the PR all of the things that you're doing all the launches don't just pick and choose what's gonna be in your favor based on the launch you know that seems really like ew so yeah but I'm not gonna let that impact my opinion of the foundation I just think it's important to remember those things because when you are purchasing products you are supporting the people who run the companies and you're supporting that company and you're supporting their ideology so I do think it's important to know like I don't know what they think and what they believe and a lot of people get on my case because I'm really I pick and choose what I purchase and who I purchase from but I think that that's really important like I don't want to be putting my money towards someone who is doing stuff that I think is shady you know what I mean anyway I just think that's important but I'm not gonna let it affect my opinion of the foundation because it's just a product and at the end of the day it's either a good foundation or it's not a good foundation you know what I'm saying so let's test it out so I'm hoping that these foundations still match I picked up these samples like the other week or so um, and I don't know if I've gotten lighter or darker or whatever have you so if they're way off it is what it is we're just gonna make it work so, two samples of the foundation i didn't want to buy the full sizes because if you can get a sample it's really cool to try and get a sample that way you don't have to buy a full size and then return a full size if it ends up being the wrong shade so i picked up the shades 540 and 550. the other like cool thing with this launch um is that i've noticed that they did their shades a little bit different so i want to make sure i say this right because i i keep getting confused on it so okay so the higher shades are the fairer skin tones and the lower shades are the deeper skin tones but anyway so that when you do the display the deeper skin tones come first which i think is really awesome i will say though the only thing is it's a little bit confusing when you're in store talking to customers because i'm in store a lot i work for smashbox um and i would help people kind of match this foundation just because i'm not going to be like no i'm not going to help you match this foundation um so I was helping customers match the foundation and you know like we would decide oh we're gonna go with the lighter one and they would grab like the wrong shade because we're so accustomed to thinking um, a lower number associated with a fairer complexion and a higher number associated with a deeper complexion that they would grab the wrong shade and I was like oh no 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 like you have the wrong shade and I had to like quickly switch it out for them so I wonder how many people accidentally picked up the wrong shade just because they got a little bit confused with it um so while I think like it's really cool I also think it's like a little bit confusing for the consumer um but yeah still think it's cool though I mean, like in my mind right now when I'm sitting here looking at this I keep thinking that the 540 is going to be a lighter shade but it's actually a darker shade and it's just like I think because I'm just so accustomed to thinking the other way it's it, it's just a little bit confusing but let's do a couple swatches first um, and see what shade I think I'm gonna go with now I do know that this oxidizes a little bit because when I was testing it on people just kind of doing little swatches I noticed that it dried down a little bit darker and that it isn't necessarily like a bad thing um, Although sometimes I get a little bit nervous because sometimes foundations that oxidize can get kind of warm. Um, and particularly on my skin tone because I have more like that olive color. I feel like they can get kind of orange. Which is just not cute. <laughs> and even like on deeper skin tones, sometimes when they oxidize they feel like they pull very like orange or red when they're supposed to be more like golden. But when I was swatching it on people it looked really pretty so um, I have high hopes. And I grabbed one that was a little bit more yellow in hopes that if it did dry down a little bit different, it would it would still have that kind of olive color to it. So this one, crap, I don't remember which this one is. Hang on, I'll look it up. And when I like to do my foundation swatches, I like to do a swatch from up here down to my neck um, because I really like to match my body because my body is a lot darker than my face and I feel like a lot of people are either like that or vice versa but most times you want to match your body because um, if you just match your face then your face will be lighter or darker and it'll look really whack. That one is nice but it's honestly a little bit light on me. See how you can still kind of see it? But I'm going to give it a second to dry down. Hopefully this isn't the... 
Okay, this is the lighter one. Thank God I was getting nervous. I was like, oh, I'm gonna look really light. This one is the darker one. Yeah, I think I'm definitely gonna go with the darker one. I mean, I'm gonna give it a second to dry, but that looks like really light on my neck, which is not a cute look. Um, and this blends in a lot better. Now, I'm gonna be honest, I'm not a super full coverage foundation person. So this might just not be my cup of tea, but it might be yours. Um, Cause I've heard that it is really full coverage, but who knows. I think I just don't like when things are like super matte. Um, but from the swatches I've done, it doesn't seem super duper matte. It seems more of like a natural finish. I used to be like super anti beauty blender, but I go through these phases where I use them. Lately, I've been using one. So I think I'm gonna do half my face with a sponge and half my face with a brush and just see um, what works better with it. I'll do sponge on this half and brush on this half and then I'll just even it out with whatever works better. don't need a lot I honestly won't even need a lot of concealer oh wow this one is kind of yellow I might have played myself here on the yellow So it goes on good with a sponge. It gave me really good coverage. I mean, if you wanted like super, super full, you could probably go in with a little bit more, but I don't really need any more coverage. Yeah, look at that. Oh my God, I'm not even gonna really need concealer. I'm probably just gonna use it to highlight. That's kind of crazy. And it's not super matte or anything. I think that looks really pretty. Oh yeah, it definitely goes on a lot thicker with a brush. No, it goes on good on both sides. Mm. I don't know. What do you guys think? I might like the sponge side a little bit better because I feel like it almost looks more dewy and this side looks more matte. I'm gonna go ahead and do my concealer um, and then let's powder. Lately I've been using this, oh, am I out of focus? I've been using this e.l.f. Um, 16 hour camo concealer and this has been working really well. I think it's only like $5 at Target. I got it sent to me and I've been using the shade Medium Sand. It's kind of light, I'm not gonna lie, but it's good for highlighting. I'm not gonna need a, need a lot of it because I feel like I already have a lot of coverage. I'm gonna use a sponge for this part because I find that this concealer works a little bit better with a sponge. Yeah, let's all blend it out. Yeah, that looks really nice. I 
I know you're probably all like, God damn, that's a lot of powder. It is. A little bit of powder foundation. This is my celebration foundation from IT. I always just like to use this. To dust off um, the translucent powder and then also set everywhere else on my face. And this one's cool because it has SPF in it, so it gives me that SPF coverage without giving me any um, flashback. Yeah, okay, so so far everything is blended really nicely. Um, I feel like I have really good coverage. I'm going to do the rest of my makeup and then I'm going to come back, check in, tell you how everything blended. And then I think I'm just going to go about my day and do a couple of check-ins and let you guys know how it's wearing. Alright you guys, I'm back. I did the rest of my makeup. Um, so everything honestly went on really smooth. My contour, my blush, my highlight, everything. Um, I really don't have any complaints. The only thing I am noticing is that there is a little bit of creasing right up here on my forehead. Um, that's pretty normal for me with a full coverage matte foundation, so I'm used to it. Plus I'm probably dehydrated, so I mean you can't change the texture of your skin. Yeah, other than that, I'm honestly really happy with it. It is pretty matte, like once I powder, like now that I've set it and everything and I've let it set, it is like a really matte formula. Um, so if you guys do prefer something more dewy, you might like something a little that has like a little bit more of a shine to it. But if you guys are oily, I feel like you're gonna really like this. Um, but yeah, so I'm just gonna wear it around for the rest of the day, see how it wears. And yeah, I actually really like this color too. I feel like this blends in really good with my neck and body and everything what do you guys think i mean this is my arm my arm is always a little bit darker than my face but even that blends pretty good right all right so i'm going to go about my day and edit some pictures and videos and things and i will check in with you guys later all right you guys i'm checking back in it's been about like six hours or so since i put on the foundation um, I would leave it on for a lot longer, but I do want to go to the gym in a little while and I'm worried that if I wait any longer, I'm going to forget to film an update. Um, and I feel like six hours is kind of long enough for me to determine how I feel about it. Now, mind you, I haven't really been doing anything very strenuous. I haven't really been outside in the heat too much today. I've kind of just been inside, like I said, on my computer editing. Um, I did ride out and came back home but nothing really crazy. So if you're outside in the heat, it might be a little bit different. Um, but honestly, this foundation has stayed really matte. It honestly kind of looks the same as when I put it on. There's a little bit of creasing right here. Oh my God, I just ate ice cream and it's on my lip. A little bit of creasing right here on my smile lines, but that's completely normal for me. I feel like I always get a little bit of creasing on my smile lines just because I am so anim animated when I talk. Um, but yeah, I really like the foundation. I like how well it's held up. I get the feeling that since it stayed so matte throughout the day, if you were even outside in like the heat and stuff, it would probably hold up just fine. So yeah, I would definitely recommend this foundation to everyone. Um, I really like it. If you like a little bit more of a dewy foundation, you might not like it as much, like I kind of said before. But if you're a little bit more oily like I am, this has definitely kept me mad all day and the coverage is really nice. It hasn't accentuated any of my texture. Um, I really like it. So yeah, that's kind of it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, please subscribe to keep up with the rest of my videos. Give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful. And yeah, if you guys try out the foundation, leave in the comments below what you guys think. I'm kind of curious. So yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next one.